Alright, we are going to have a look at Salaka. It's a newly released demo here, it's still not released yet or anything, we don't have a firm date. And a retro inspired shooter made by a smaller indie team I believe. And um, running on GCD which is, um, you know, it's an engine made to run the original Doom. Kinda cool. And uh, you have a lot of settings to, uh, you know, tweak. Nice rebinding here. Hoggle and uh, hold different bindings. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but maybe you could have just had like a hoggle button instead, like a checkbox something. It, but I don't know, it, it works. The only thing I have to say with all this is that uh, it's a lot to try to map the Steam controller, which sucks and. Uh, yeah, it's just that it. And when I see games like this, I'm always afraid that they're trying to put in too much, uh, or that they haven't optimized how things are being done. And I also tried like to use, for example, reload. I wanted to use reload and use at the same button. Uh, <clears throat> and. Uh, or <coughs> more and I wasn't allowed to use that and uh, you know it's why not why can I not have use and reload be the same button it takes one action away and frees one button up for example and I I feel that this is something that often gets missed out and when I look at stuff like this that is what my first thing is that hmm how fun is this going to be because even on you know mouse and keyboard is it really necessary all of these input buttons and stuff like that can you not optimize it I don't feel it's fun in games even if you know, with keyboard, you know, if I have to like reach all over the keyboard and stuff. Um, I just feel that you should, for the final, take a look here. Can we not optimize? For example, like Doom had, when you're close to, uh, you know, opening door or accessing elevators. You could press fire to use, as a use key for example. Or, you know, you have your melee. Melee here cannot melee and use be the same button, like in Doom, for example. Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Um, and why can we not use, you know, open and reload to be the same button? Why can we not bind that? Why, why not allow the player to mess up and bind the same key to two different actions? Let it be the, you know, the player's problem. Um... And then also I would say, well, uh, let's let's save that. But yeah, that's my first thing here. Uh, for the demo, you don't need all of this. You don't have all of all of the stuff, so it's not the same problem. Another thing here that I'm just gonna point out is that when you pull up the map, um, you know we're gonna no no we're gonna save this. We're gonna show. We're gonna show. Yeah, it's just the first thing. I love the, all the things that you can do here. But I miss to not be able to rebind keys to the same stuff, you know? And also, couldn't you optimize this a little bit just beforehand? Um, it's it's a concern. It's not negative in a way. It's more of a concern. And especially when you're trying, you know, there are many people playing with game as and stuff. It could definitely cause some problems if you have all of these different, uh, you know, inputs bound to different stuff. Other than that's great. Yes, you know. Mostly good, but this is a bit weird. These are like different, but I had to set them different to be the same. And yeah. I prefer just having one slider to like control the main order them being the same values. 
it works, but it was a little bit finicky trying to find a good, uh, you know, correlation. Because I want it to be a, like a nice little circle when I move it in a circle, and uh, you know, not being like some weird this shape or this shape. So, but mostly it's good. There's no raw mouse input setting here, which, uh, but it, the mouse feels snappy, and there's no mouse mooting, mouse acceleration control. So. Um, Hopefully, you know, the mouse feels good to me, but it might others might have, you know, something to say about that. Interface. This gets unticked every single time I exit the game. Uh, that annoys the crap out of me. I do not like that. When I tick this one, it should stay ticked. Keep this ticked. I don't know how many other settings gets unticked, but this gets unticked. It's, uh, it bugs me the crap out. I miss the ability here to uh, change the color of the browser. Other than that, it seems perfectly fine. Again, really, really nice settings here. No problems, but it's kind of weird that you know the always that the master volume I have to just really crank it all the way down for it to be. It's still pretty loud to me, but I guess. For you guys, we can turn it up here. Let's see. That may be better. Let's try this one, alright? You wanna hear the audio here, so... Um, that one. We're gonna do this. It's great, so... so Nice, a lot of settings here, really nice. Again, lots of nice settings to you to tweak and uh, change them down, change things up. You have like an ADS or a zoom function, which is nice. We're gonna discuss this a little bit uh, when we get into the game. I don't think there's um, any way to center your gun in the middle, it would have been a fun little. I don't remember if the gun. Yeah, the gun. The gun seems to be to the right there. So, other than that's really nice. Nice that you can turn off like warping effects and that. That it could cause you know problems for a lot. And I don't want too much screen warping, twist and shaking. So, and you have even more thing here if you you know are prone to getting seizures by flickering and stuff. That you can reduce it. To turning off things is really nice. You can see I've turned off a lot of the things because I don't really enjoy them myself, so that's really nice. Color blindness, noise, noise. And let's go video first here. Vulcan and open Geo. And this is wrong. Okay, so this is weird. Um, uh, this is my uh, second monitor, my right, TV. So I don't know why it's saying 4K here. Uh, it should be that. Wow. Okay, another bug. Um, I've set this to 440p, and now I ran the game with my second monitor on 4K, and it has automatically switched the resolution. And I believe this is, it seems like a borderless window, so it would have been nice to point that out. It's not exclusive, it doesn't seem like it at least. Not sure exactly, I think I have a nice idea what this is. So. Nice settings, um, using upscaling. I love uh, the, which more games had upscaling in the games. To future proof it and to add crispness. Would be nice to be able to set your own value here, but it works. It has all the major at this point in time, most of the major ones and unlimited. So you need this one to really enjoy higher frames. Nice that you can tweak a little bit.
Really nice. I might turn this down, you know, but we're gonna keep it at 100 and a nice field of view slider. Nice to have presets here. This seems an interesting one, not too bad. I'm not sure if I want crunch or smooth for the textures, so we're gonna we might check this one out in game. And then that's lots of nice settings. I'm I'm targeting high settings to to get upscaling for Christmas and stuff. And uh, often, you know, the high and ultra have very very little difference anyway. So. Uh, on my RTX 3070 and my AMD Ryzen 5 600X, it runs really great. Nice that you can turn off this film grain aberration and stuff like that, and blooming. Uh, the only thing to say here is that there might be too much for new players that aren't, you know, accustomed to, uh, you know, all the tweakability, but then they, you know, you have presets, so love this one mostly love everything here so let's get into the game i've played this but we're gonna start a new campaign hard difficult for players with plenty of first person shoot experience the enemy is lethal fast and use advanced type and stuff that uh, i should be playing this one because i played tons of fps so let's go with this one here um this doesn't seem to do a lot in this uh, demo mode here. Blah blah blah. You have quick save, you have auto saving. Seems nice. Would like to just be able to press this one for proceeding. <laughs> nice though to have this one. It's really, really interesting. But it's interesting that you have first you have difficulty and then you have another difficulty here. But it's cool. I don't mind it. It just feels a little bit like. I, I would probably prefer this uh, before, like having that setting just done before on the other screen. It's, it's just a minor nitpick in personal thing, but it doesn't change anything, so. And hopefully we will get mostly stable 120 frames here, even with the upscaling here, so. Alright, and this is the smooth settings here, so... Oh! So this can be a... Uh... Wow, okay, it was really loud here, uh, my bad. Yeah, that's why I've turned this one down to 20%. It's a really, really, really loud. The dynamic range here is kind of crazy. Um, so maybe we want this one to be that and then we want this to be maybe all right maybe we let's try this we're not gonna stay in here too long are we just gonna have a quick look here Here is a lot of screen shake going on if you haven't turned it down. I know where I'm supposed to go, but when you first start, you know, might run around a little bit. Not knowing where to go. Okay, I had to... work a little bit 
really there. Um, so that's another thing here. Um, can I show this one off? So when you have all of these different, uh, you know, different binaries, it makes it interesting to try to, you know, make a configuration. You can see here, there's a lot of, lot of different binding, and for me to get jump, crouch, dash, and everything going is quite challenging actually. Um, and even you know, you have grenades, you have ability, you have a different ability. Then you have you know, ADS, you have fire, jump, crouch, dashing. Uh, you know, switch abilities up. Then you have your guns, and you know, in the final game, there's going to probably be more than four guns here. So, um, meaning that uh, when you have all of these differences, so many buttons and everything, it makes it really challenging to try to play this uh, nicely, smoothly on the gamepad here, and even on like the again on the keyboard. Really wish that they could tweak and uh, go through. Because I have no idea how to bind jump, crouch, dash, dash uh, at the same time in a nice and smooth t way. You know, you have ogle grenades also, not just one grenade. Uh, Medkits, melee, flashlight is so much. Uh, if the final game comes out, if I were to get that, uh, I don't know how well I could enjoy it on, you know, the gamepad or on the keyboard and mouse also because of all of these abilities, but I will see. That's why I really hope that they they try to optimize the game, you know, inputs. And then I again I wonder why you do 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 why uh, if you need to have a crouch couldn't you know holding dash be a crouch instead? So yeah, just optimizing of the buttons is definitely what I really mostly, you know, would like. Very, very beautiful graphic here. Graphic. Uh, very detailed. As you can see there, sometimes the enemy seems to blend a little bit into, you know, the environment. That can make it a little bit challenging to spot them. And this is another thing that so if you look here, this is smooth, 120, you know, super smooth. Then you have this one. It seems like almost like 15 to 20 frames or something. It's very, very... So you have this super smooth and then you just get this lag feeling. And you can look at the upper right corner. It's, uh, it's not lagging. I'm guessing this is a limitation of the GC Doom engine. Love all the small details here. Like this is more detailed than many modern games. You take a lot of damage here, easy. Uh, very, very. It, this uh, feels that it's. Uh, it said that, you know, it's hard, difficult for experience, but it might be, uh, at least in the starting area, uh, actually one step higher than normal high. Okay, this is like from... Like Doom had this, like the first time I experienced that.
Um, It's a very detailed, cool looking level here. Mm, but you need quite a bit of a focus here, at least me, I do. I die very easily. I love the interactability with a lot of items. So now, right, right now, I have jump, and I hold jump to crouch. I'm not sure how well this is going to work in the. <laughs> Any game that makes you laugh like, with these small things is uh, obviously off to a great start. <laughs> So cool little details, like yeah, with the environment and everything feels just, you know, AAA to me. Better than many today's standard. Let's uh, turn on the crunchy, because I know that a lot of you might prefer to have the retro feel, um, the crunchy details. So no FXA to, you know, smoothen the edges up out and or anything and we have it upscaled to 150 for you know for the more crunchy look so here you have the more crunchy look it looks great and everything i'm not excited i'm not sure if i prefer the smooth or not actually it's just interesting and this you can eat those that's you know it was a nice little cool reminiscent throwback to old <laughs> uh, yeah, like modern games should take note of all of the interactability. Now let's bring up the, the map. This is not the best map and you can move the map around but you have to use this again is to me. Why can't I use the mouse? If I press left click you know to drag the map around or just move the mouse for that matter would be enough. But we do left click and we fire. Let you move. Let me move the the map around just with the mouse or holding left down. This, this again. Just it adds unnecessary ease. Uh, optimize your inputs. Really, it's. I feel it's become such a lazy thing. Developers just look at mouse and keyboard and they see, oh, I have hundred keys. And then they just put one to one action. We really should focus on optimizing the inputs. I really, really strongly feel that way. Um, try to optimize. There's no point I have to use that I can't use. I can't use W A S D here because that that makes perfectly sense. Because if you can see, I am that little, pretty much un unnoticeable little arrow. That you see moving on the screen that should be very much more like make make it maybe as a pointing circle or flashing pumping something more more obvious because if you're standing still you can't really tell that this is your positions uh, but yeah just just let you know when you are in the map make the mouse move the map around then you don't need a separate thing and when you play on, you know, a gamepad with joystick input, you know, have the right stick be, like, right stick be, you know, changing by the map around. This should not be a separate bind. This is bound to the, you know, the, your keys, your arrow keys, and it's, uh, it's unnecessary. And it's a, a little bit of a confusing map here. 
you can zoom in and out that's bound to change weapons so that's nice at least but yeah optimizing the inputs and it's make it maybe make the map less there's a lot of small obstacle clutter maybe make it sometimes i felt it's a little bit it works but it could be better that's what i'm gonna say um But this part I can just run around a little bit and I can find my way. Uh, so, yeah, the crunchy look it looks cool and looks nice. But I don't know. I think this game's. This game, I think I actually prefer. Smooth look. Um, so we are supposed to go someplace. Do 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 do. Uh, you know, in one way, you can actually say that this map almost are too detailed. It. Uh, can be a little bit confusing if you're just running around to be where you are supposed to be heading. But I figured it out in all the ways. Well, that was loud. Nice little destructive environment here. Whoa, but yeah, you take a lot of damage by the default like difficulty here. does feel definitely like you know as a fps veteran here uh, that i would uh, I might need to look at the difficulty a little bit here or maybe the default one should be one step down or you know you know the the one step down should be for people that are you know used to Find a key that are used to uh, FPS games, but not, uh, you know, yeah, no, something, some difference. Probably if this comes out, I would maybe need to play this on one uh, setting down, one difficulty setting down. Maybe, I don't know. Let's quick save, I like that. So this is also a little bit weird. When I press quick load, I wanted to use the last quick save that I've used. Um, I don't know why this menu is coming up. You know, when I quick save and then I press quick load, I just wanted to automatically use the la latest quick save. Um, that this one did actually mess me up one time, having me load load the uh, one you know save that was one step further away I took damage there that's yeah hmm. health. well there are health if you back travel or if I back travel right don't remember where it was. Probably gonna get. There we go. So you have this one that you can use for cover, right? But for me, since I have the hold 
crouch it makes this one not really usable because i can't quickly dodge shots by doing this unfortunately and i wanted to use actually i wanted to use slide and crouch on the same button but i couldn't get it to work uh, on the this controller i might look into that when we get to do the slide ability in this demo to see if i can figure it out Yeah, absolutely amazing art style, the graphics, I like the sound of the guns, the playing. Maybe I should do the fourth walk speed should be a bit slower for this game because I've read, uh, I read uh, you know on the forums and everything, and developers had mentioned a little bit that you know this isn't a really meant. Like just to be the run and gun kind of Doom clone, but more a little bit more of a tactical feel to it. Maybe having a little bit of a slower walking pace could actually uh, uh, help with that. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of signs. Da 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 da. That's a nice little one here. But I, you know, maybe that is the thing here. Uh, that it's very easy when you start this game to, uh, you know, feel that this is another just simple retro shooter. Um, meant, you know, for you to just a couple of hours of guns blazing. And this seems uh, a lot more you know, have a lot more going for it. Want everything to be a little bit more advanced and uh, different. Get very little ammo for this gun, I don't really know why. Again, here, here you could optimize inputs by having W and S be moving up and down. Instead, you have scroll up and down. Uh, for me, it would feel naturally to be able to just do, be able to use uh, either W S, or to be able to use arrow up and down, or also you know, scroll up and down. You know, there's some minor things that you can optimize. And I'm not a fan of the the visor look here, but. Uh, it's, it's, it's not too crazy, but it takes a little bit of the away from the view here, but... To me personally, that is nothing bad about the game in any kind of way. It's just absolutely 100% personal thing that I don't really feel that to me that the visor thing here adds something. So now we got the slide. Okay, so let's show me show you here if I can quickly try to change. So let's remove. Right, we only have jump there. Okay, so on dash, I want long press to be crouch. This could be built into the game. Crouch. There we go. Unfortunately, when I bound it, I press, nothing happens. When I hold, it works for the crouching. But for some reason. For some reason, the sliding is not working. I cannot figure it out. That's the why I would like this built into the game. I have no idea why it doesn't. Why it doesn't happen. All right, okay. Here we go. No, okay, it's not. It seems to be... A 
little bit inconsistent, unfortunately. But that's what I would like. To be able to hold, dash, to crouch, press, to just dash. Input optimizations. Or if it really is necessary to even have a crouch, you might be able to do without it. Right, all oh, right, we can go on with that one. But the most immediate thing, if possible, I would really, if it can be tweaked, the smoothness of ADSing. Because um, this is really. really distracting in a game where you do probably gonna use a lot of ADS. Definitely it's challenging to see where they are at it sometimes. About to die here again. Yeah. It would be nicer to be able to easier spot the enemies. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like a normal FPS, uh, you know, difficulty here. It seems uh, like it's uh, a little bit of, compared to many uh, games at least, a little bit on the harder side. It's not a problem. You can turn it down. Nothing wrong with that, but maybe word it, it's a little bit different. That if you are used FPS veteran, this is what you should play. Because even if you are uh, used, you know, the last game I played was Doom Eternal, The Ancient Gods Part One and Two on their normal difficulty. So you know, I definitely are used to FPS games, and this feels like it is a step over the normal difficulty. More, a little bit more on the harder side. Yeah, nothing wrong. It's maybe just the wording of of it that's uh, could be tweaked. Nice, nice reflecting here. Seems to be running really nice at 120. Gonna check the video how it performs during combat, but it feels smooth during combat, so. You have vaulting here, that's nice. I am playing this little slower. Uh, again, because I read a little bit on the forum that they, you know... Well, that wasn't really going for a running gun action. And I got the feeling myself also just going for a little bit of a lower pace, so... Hand sanitizer here. Like all the little little, little details uh, here. So it's a very, very positive feeling here. Uh, even if it's not coming across. Very, very positive. But I just feel there are, there are you know, improvements can be made.
And we are almost dead again. Half the health there. But I was being a little bit more on the aggressive side here, so. <laughs> but yeah, probably, you know, bump down the difficulty for me to be able to play a little bit more on the back inside. And definitely, I just feel that the. Uh, like the you know used FPS um, wording isn't really the best wording. Maybe word it if you like you know a bit of a more challenge something. Go for this one and blah blah blah. It's uh, it doesn't affect the game or anything. It's just hey hey. No. So this is a demo, so you can play it and try everything yourself. Uh, really nice. So I do. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do those. Alright, nice, I'm held. So, just to very, very much clarify, it's a very positive, very, very positive impress, impression here. It just could be. Uh, whoa! Slightly improved. Whoa! Uh, Okay, apparently I hit I hit something there. And the slide is a little bit long. I just wanted to, you know. Here, I wanted to go this way. So, yeah, it, it just feel that the Difficulty settings, the wording might be nice tweaked. This definitely is uh, one step over like a normal difficulty, so. I do know that other points is out. Uh, enemy spotting the enemy is uh, definitely something that could use improvement. Uh, Sometimes it's quite interesting to try to spot enemies. Do -do -do -do. All right, this is where I am. <laughs> Maybe a big make your player a big pointy circle so you know where you are. Like, I don't know, there is a map, but I find it quite confusing to use it at the times actually, so I'm just like going a little bit without it mostly. It feels so good to be able to just hold, dash to crouch, press to, to do the slide. Now I have one button for two actions without any problems. Really something I would like for more games to utilize input optimizations.
Okay, but I can't see any enemy here, so... Like, definitely, again, you need to mention that this is triple A level of, you know, detail. Really amazing. And this is part where I got, the first time I got, like, a little bit of a stuck. Let's try something so that you can see. I don't think there's a huge difference here. We go... We go to Ultra here. It's high. video we turn scale to one we have it I can still maintain 1.2 frames here yeah this is definitely where I first like where am I supposed to go I think I've used this one the first time oh where am I can you spot me on the map? Oh, there I am. So we are supposed to head not this way. Is it this way? No? Maybe it's in here to the left? No? This is where we came. So we've been here. Seems like I'm supposed to backtrack maybe. Right, I've been to this part already. Enter that place. Definitely can be quite uh, sometimes interesting where to go here. Unfortunately, I don't remember exactly where it was I it was supposed to go. And since there are so much debris, it's very easy to get stuck. This is where I came from, right? I do know that others also mentioned it, that they felt a little bit interesting to see exactly where to go, and I can agree with that. Uh, obviously we're supposed to go somewhere in the map where it isn't, you know, marked. Oh, that's where I am, okay. Oh, 
Um, okay, I. Uh, the big one of the biggest main problem here is that there I am. The mark where I am needs to be improved quite drastically. Seems like this is green, this is the place to go. So we should probably go ahead in here. Something here. I don't remember exactly where it was I went when I got into this place. Maybe this way? That's the pizza place. Are there any, like, lightning control, lightning windows? is in here. Oh right, here we go. I think in time to see. It's not marked or anything here, so... Holy crap, okay, I'm almost dead again! Yeah, they blend really well into the background. Whoa, okay. I would definitely, you know, probably wording the difficulty a little bit difficult. This is, uh, even if you play a ton of FPS games, this is uh, not really like the normal difficulty there. It seems a little bit on the more challenging side. <laughs> not even bad. Again, you can just turn it down, but it seems compared to most FPS games. Eww. Definitely on the more challenging side. I'm gonna keep playing here on the... On this difficulty because uh, so far I don't feel it's unfair cha unfairly challenging or anything so... We're soon gonna be done showing you this one, and you can play it for yourself. But it's amazing. There definitely are some stuff that can be improved. I'm going to, you know, hope this won't be, uh, you know, too far off. Definitely are on my list for games that I'm looking forward to and interested in. Uh, obviously, you, you would wanna open these ones. Every FPS game, right, needs a little bit of a bathroom scene. Don't know that. I've never been able to unlock this, and there's some nice secrets, so. So I've been... that's backward to where I was, so that's not where we want to go. Don't know how to unlock this one. 
Oh, there's a vent ventilation shaft. And we... Some kind of ventilation. Oh, wrong. Okay, so I don't know exactly where that ventilation access is, but there is a ventilation. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can move on. Again, I'm not exactly sure where to go here. Definitely can see, you know, the confusion. Not sure what that one unlocked. This one? Ah, secret. Interesting. Have we have been here, right? Yeah, this is where we started with the little teddy bear. Um, have I? Wait, there's something shown on the map. Okay, did I miss the? Oh, is this just a secret it's showing? Mm. Guessing so. Mm. I guess that's a secret. It's a big, huge icon with something. I was thinking it was a e card or something, but alright, not. <laughs> do 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 do. I don't. Uh, yeah, this is quite interesting here. Okay, apparently there were enemies there right now. I didn't see the enemy. Am I supposed to go back here or...? No, right, I don't think so. Don't think I need to go back. There was just one enemy left behind, right? Oh, wait. Oh, empty. Sorry if this might not be the most fun video, but I wanted to show you, you know, this one. Um, yeah, the map is not really the best help to me here. It seems very plottery, um, trying to figure out different levels and everything. There looks to be a lot of unfilled stuff, you know, on this, like this part of the screen here. I'm not sure how to get there, so... 
Unfortunately, I don't even remember how I did to progress this part. Hmm. So we can't get to that place. Is there something up here? Nope. Right, and nothing in this was a secret. It's nothing here, no. Can't go that way. It's nothing here. I really don't remember where to go, which is causing uh, quite a problem here. I'm just circling around now. Yeah, and this is a very... Uh, Confusing map to me. Yeah, I know. Like, it shows like I haven't. Like, I can. It looks like I can go in here, right? But it's a solid wall. Which makes this co map confusing. Um. This should be a solid line indicating that here I have been, so I don't go here without thinking. Let me try go here. And then we have here, it seems like I should be able to pass. This should mark as a door or something. Uh, um, there's so many obstacles that it's actually this is actually a little bit almost too like detailed that can make it interesting to know where to go. So then you have this place down here. I've already you know been here, so it's like nothing more to do. So I might have to backtrack like something or I don't know. Uh, that one did something. Is it this way? So this one looks like a solid door. But it's not marked as a door. This should be marked more as a like a door. This is where we're supposed to go. This is very, very easy to just miss. Yep, this is the way we're supposed to go. That is very easy to miss. And the map is not really helping here, I feel. I definitely don't feel that that map. And here we're going vertically up. But we can't really tell if we're getting to a different floor. It still looks like we are on the, you know, base floor. So yeah, the map needs... So the map could definitely... Oh, okay, they can apparently see me. So the map definitely needs, needs some uh, nice little work. Oh no, is the... I... No... I did the quick save, right? Right, and this is the problem. This. Why would you put the quicks? The quick. Oh man, if you quick load, it should load the latest quick save. Why do you have weird options? If I quick save. Now. I press quick load. 
It shouldn't ask, it should just load the quick save. Why is this? What? What? Ah, uh, there's some a little bit small thing that definitely bugs me. Takes you a little bit away from the experience. Very difficult to see the enemy. Do, 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 and like, yeah, this interact interact with what interact this encounter felt more like you know, like trial and error here to just first experience to be able to get through it. Definitely an interesting game here. Definitely what I'm gonna be looking for, and most likely if I doesn't come out too far away, you know, if I remember it, be playing it, having probably some fun. But there are definitely, you know, there are areas that can be improved. Can can be used to unlock store can we can develop out can be blah blah blah. Okay. Cabinet cars. Don't know where that could possibly be. We're not gonna spend time here. We're gonna quit this uh, video, you know, so you have something to play yourself. Resting. Scan, all right. Hmm. Well, let's uh, show a little bit. I, I don't know where the card is. I'm gonna end this here. I'm just gonna go a bit forward here.
There we go. I get to the next part here of the level. We're gonna end the video here. Uh, very promising. Your flashlight has a limited time. I'm generally not a fan of that, but fine. Here we go. Saving. Out of thing here that you can read. Holy crap. Oof. Not sure how long you know this demo is, but this seems like we on Mars. That seems a lot like the Doom uh, kind of thing. We're gonna stop the demo here. Very impressive. I would definitely say that this, if it can be tweaked, be smoother, would be lovely. The map obviously make this like a more glowing pointer in all kind of way. Maybe make, as I pointed out, some some uh, doors be more, uh, you know, uh, point out that it is a door. Make it, you know, like a green line or a tick or something more and make glass windows that I was looking at not look like, you know, it's not a wall. And if you can, look over your inputs and see if you can't optimize or let me bind like reload and use to like the same button and you know maybe have like dash and uh, you know holding dash to be do a crouch or pressing dash to be dashing you know try looking through the input optimizations and this is super promising. And probably maybe the wording there, like if you use the FPS, choose this difficulty might not be the best wording, but it's it's nothing really. Yes, just turn the settings down. I don't know, can you... Oh no, you don't seem to be able to turn difficulty down during gameplay. That's a... Uh, that would definitely have been a good thing, I guess. Is it very easy to start on a more challenging difficulty than, uh, than you might be expecting so and then the quick you know obviously as I said when you quick save and press quick load it should load the latest quick save you should not have an option and if you look we do this uh, no if we do this one load game Nothing here says quick save. You have the checkpoint system and your quick save will be named auto save. Quick save would be easier if it said quick save. Again, minor thing, but that is uh, something that did definitely, you know, get me a little bit. No. And there's no quit to menu for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I don't think so. I didn't see it or maybe I missed it. So that was Seleku. You can try it and play it yourself. It's very, very promising. Very, very fun. And uh, I feel I understand the developers saying that, you know, we weren't aiming for... The running gun retro doom kind of craze, and that's fine. Um, just gotta get in a mindset that uh, probably more of a tactical sci fi shooter than uh, the brutal, uh, just you know, bla guns blazing, and uh, it's yeah, very, very great. The enemies uh, easier to spot them somehow, maybe some 
in the further levels something more easier to navigate you to some something like it wasn't super clear when I did the final like powered thing off that there was a door behind me. I didn't even see that door actually. Make it more obviously that it is a door both on the map and in the game. Something, some little more pointers. Other than that, the level design in itself and with all of the debris and all the interactivity, that feels uh, really triple A to me. Better than many, many modern games. The thing that pops into my mind is control that had the same time of like huge debris and uh, really the the world seemed really really interactive and great and I get the same feeling from this one. But yeah, rework on the map and on the, you know pointing a little bit of extra pointing where to go and tweaking of maybe the inputs and and stuff like that. Uh, it's uh, definitely super super cool super super fun super fun and promising you just don't want to get stuck wandering around like I did that uh, for that long with without really any real good point to it there so all the other things gunplay, gunplay and everything feels really smooth so um yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really interesting and promising this. There's some work to be done. There's definitely some work to be done, but looking forward to see the progress of this. And again, I hope it's not like a year or so away because it might be easy to just uh, forget about it, unfortunately. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video and this game. And if you haven't heard about it or played it, uh, you can go and play it yourself. I don't know for how long this demo will be away, but hopefully it should just be, uh, you know, all through the development and history of the game, hopefully. But yeah, stay tuned for another demo coming up. I'm going to try another one. Uh, hopefully it will be uh, up, you know, another video in a day or two for that demo. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, hope to see you in the next video.